friends this is ashutosh datta and i am going to present you the lecture series on history of architecture history of architecture series will be helpful for your gate architecture and your bart semester exams also if you want to know about more about indian architecture then i have already prepared a lecture from delhi architecture northern architecture southern and eastern and western indian architecture in my earlier videos you can see those videos on my channel of bit now in history of architecture we will go through a series of lectures that is pre historic egyptian architecture west asiatic architecture greek architecture roman architecture early christian byzantine romanesque gothic and venaifa lecture we will discuss the pre historic architecture now pre historic architecture is by the primitive man the early man the earliest of the man used to live in the caves now after the caves they were inspired from the birds nest and they started making the hut 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 for easy to construct they are made from local material like trees plants etc and they were used for shelter now along with hut one of the famous type of monument is monolith monolith is found in different parts of the world and it is also known as menhir now what is a monolith mono means single lith stand for stone so this is a large roughly draped stone which is erected as a memorial of the notable events so hut and monolith that a series of stones which is known as stone henge is very common in england and the europe if then stone henge is not a single structure but a series of structures they are found in different areas most common is the inland now little is known about the architects of the stone henge that who were the makers of these stone henge real purpose of stone henge is also unknown it is a mystery that what was the use of such stones in large numbers you can see there are four concentric wings of the stone there are four layers of the stone and in some places one stone is kept on the top of the two which is known as the farfen stone now the true mystery true purpose of the stone henge is not clear some of the scholars suggest that if they were used for the ceremonial purposes for some memorable events some suggest that it is used for the religious purpose and many have suggested they were actually a astronomical observatory now real purpose is not clear along with the stone henge one common type of prehistoric architecture is known as the dolmen dolmen is generally two upright stone which are supporting a large flat stone and they enclose a chamber now there is no clear clarity on why this chamber was used from it is believed that the chamber was used for the burial or for performing the rites for for uh, or they were used as the altar where fire was produced and from rites were done so three main types are monolith then stone henge and the dolmen in the next lecture we will discuss about the egyptian architecture like and subscribe our channel for more free lectures